All right, <clears throat> all right, my childhood, my childhood, let me see. Well, I, I've got a mixed family, right? So I've had a stepbrother and a stepsister at one time in my life. Currently, you know, with my mom's divorce, I lost another stepbrother there. I mean, I guess he still is. But I have uh, four younger half-brothers and two older twin brothers. So at one point, I think I suffered from youngest child syndrome. Then at another point in my life, I suffered from <laughs> middle child syndrome. So anyway, I don't know, that kind of messes with you. It was kind of hard growing up. My two older brothers were twins, both of them. Not to me, but you know, twins to each other. They were... Uh, fraternal and you know they were terrible to me as I know that's normal and brothers are that terrible but they would like gang up on me over everything they never really fought with themselves they just targeted me you know I grew up overweight I played sports when I was younger I played a lot of football you know um but being overweight, they would target me all the time and like poke my stomach and calls, call me the Pillsbury Doughboy a lot, you know. And you know, I, I don't know, it kind of, kind of messed with me. In fact, so much to a point that when they went to live back with my mom for a period of time, I decided not to go with them and lived with my dad um, during part of middle school and high school which was good and, and bad um, it was kind of a lonely time in my life and I think I think I'm going back there now that I'm alone again and having some of those feelings and working through some of those thoughts that I I had then you know like emptiness um, back then I would I would have tons of parties where I would invite friends over I mean these are just fun you know we'd play games and stuff it was mostly innocent but I remember not being able to participate I remember going in the corner feeling so alone um, this is in high school my sophomore year uh, I, I remember waking up one morning uh, after crying all night and just feeling like I needed to change. And it was at that point, I think I had been alone with my dad for like two or three years. So we can go into depth about that later, but I think I got to a point where I needed to move to my mom's again, you know? I just remember going downstairs and telling my dad that I was going to move to my mom's, you know? And he was like, okay. Kind of took all of my friends by surprise. I had been playing football for six years so far. I'd made a ton of good friends. Still friends to this day, but it wasn't enough, you know? I was so lonely and depressed. Um... I guess my dad wasn't around a ton. He would work a lot. Um, I think he was drinking a lot too, and he would date a lot. There'd be a lot of new faces during those years. <clears throat> um, so, I made the move, and about that time, I think my brothers left for school, you know, so. I had younger brothers by then, and it was fairly good. I think I got the right kind of attention from my mom um, and my stepdad at the time. And, you know, I was able to succeed and go to college. I mean, I wasn't getting terrible grades, you know, A's, B's, a few C's, but um, school in California was way easier than Texas. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> I did great. <laughs> I don't know what the implications of that are, but it just was, you know? Like, maybe I had more support, more family around. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a little snapshot there of my childhood. Um, most of the time, I guess before I lived with my dad alone though, I lived with my mom for most of the time and my two older brothers. And when the new kids came around, I think, I don't know, my, my stepdad wasn't always, he was hard on me, you know? taught me the value of work and stuff and I think I moved to my dad's when I was starting middle school because I wanted to get away from him <laughs> so I felt like I had more freedom with my dad my real dad um, and my brothers went with me you know they wanted all three of us wanted to live with him but man it was so brutal like I said the teasing was terrible being overweight is terrible I still am you know and I still struggle with those years you know from childhood such an impression on the rest of your life what happens there you know I was bullied in school I always felt out of place and different and then I was bullied at home too and I just never felt like I belonged anywhere so 